for the Here's Jackson, he gets the edge across the 25-yard line and finally brought down by Easy Chuku. It's a gain of 11 and a Northwestern first down. Simeon, for most of the season, has played through an ankle injury, but he's a lot healthier now. Jackson, up the middle, one cut, touchdown, Northwestern! And now a flag at the end of the play. Watch the touchdown run by Jackson right here. Very well blocked up front, and then the extracurricular after the play. Alvidi on second and six, he'll hand it off. Jackson slips a couple of defenders. And he's finally dragged down at the 35-yard line. The Wisconsin game with a concussion. And how about the efficient running? You see the power game and offensive line. How'd you go run into someone right here, too? He's the blocker. There goes Jackson, over 1,000 yards for the season. And into the end zone for a Northwestern touchdown. A season-long 68-yard run. Talked about Vitali is actually going to come this direction, but the zone run is intended to go there the entire time. Somewhat the misdirection. They call this a split zone. And Purdue doesn't defend it well. Vitali sometimes will block the opposite defensive end. They've allowed just six red zone touchdowns. And on first down, Justin Jackson with a nice little run. Down near the 12 yard line, a pickup of eight. Second down and three. Jackson again, and Jackson with a first down. Joe Schobert on the tackle. Vitale in motion on first and goal at the eight yard line. Here's Jackson again, cuts up field. Jackson towards the goal line, he's in for the touchdown. is strong right now for Jackson. He saw the hole, he hit the hole, he dives for six. And Northwestern with an early road lead. Worst starting position for the Wildcats today. They've started every other possession in Wisconsin territory. Jackson had a hole and almost got to it. On first down. Jackson on a nice little cut to get extra yardage to the 41 yard line. TJ Edwards will get credit for the tackle. Second and 10 at the 36. Here's Justin Jackson. Little stutter step, and Jackson gets a couple to the 38. For now, it's the defense of the Badgers that's on the field as the run five yards to the 30 yard line. And for the first time today, we check in in Chicago. Mike Hall's got a Lexus studio update. In the middle of the thick of things as well, I think they've had a great season. Jackson able to break free. Justin Jackson down the sidelines and chased out by Tanner McAvoy in Wisconsin territory at the 48. Using that angle. It's all about angles when you're a safety. He takes the proper course on the top side and gives himself a chance because if he doesn't get it. On first down again, it's Jackson. And Jackson. Inside the 45 to the 44, those six teams that we've talked about, they've lost a lot You're of time. You're handicapping yourself on the back side if you, if you get this first. They're playing for the field goal here. Yeah, they are. And that's down in the arms of Alec James at the 17-yard line. Here's Jackson on third and short. He's got the first down at the 46. He's, he's going to be a good. He's going to be a good player because his feet really. He sep his feet and his ability to run separate a lot of things. Jackson on second and ten. Showing that patience and he gets into Badger territory at the 48. We talk about the patience of Clement, but one of the things we've seen develop with Justin Jackson is similar patience. And Pat Fitzgerald do have trust in me. And that's just part of the learning curve for a freshman quarterback. As Jackson finds good yardage up the hash to the 37. Jack Sitchi on the stop and Jackson over 100 yards now. So it was the defense that got the initial spark going. Then the big play may have lit the fire. Clement scores and now back for Northwestern and back to the ground. Justin Jackson gets five on first down. Darius Hillary on the stop. And now Northwestern with a three point lead starting at the 30 yard line. Jackson 
cuts it up field and Jackson down near the 26 yard line, a four yard gain. Jackson again, the cut back down at the 25 and there's timeout number two used by Wisconsin. Fine and Northwestern will start on offense. Clayton Thorson at quarterback hands it off. First play of this drive. Four down territory for this run-oriented Northwestern offense. Some controversial calls last week in Northwestern's victory. Justin Jackson tries the right side, and he dances down to the 25-yard line. Average play, it's their core play. Thorson to Jackson again, following his defenders, being patient, and he gets the first down. Jackson, handoff, straight ahead. Pounding into the Illini secondary for eight plus more. And Vitali in motion, handoff right side. It's Justin Jackson taking on Illini. Defenders comes off the ground and a late flag is thrown. He only gets a couple of yards, but already had one huge penalty in this game against the Illini. Personal foul, face mask, defense number 14. 15 yard penalty, automatic first down. Second and nine, they give Thorson a yard on that play. Handoff this time to Long. Long gets inside the 20. Goal. Used six different receivers today, Thorson has. Handoff. This time inside the five is Jackson. Second and goal inside the four. Jackson again, straight ahead, untouched. Touchdown. This is Northwestern football at its best, Taylor. Clean football, power football, good defense, run, play action, assert their will. This is fun to watch a team that's as efficient as Northwestern has been on the last three offensive possessions. This particular case, he wanted to make it bigger than just the rivalry game. It was about overall respect and playing themselves into a major bowl game. I really like his approach. He touchdown drives today. Handoff, Justin Jackson into the Illini secondary and up near the 49-yard line. He said that on the field, the replay official disagreed. Justin Jackson for the Illini and the Bears, the galloping ghost. It's Jackson who gets up near the 20-yard line at the 19. Bears who beat their arch rival, the Green Bay Packers, the other night. Clayton Thorson in the pistol set. Hands to Justin Jackson. Jackson breaking tackles. Gets past the 35-yard line. Started that one with a pass. Good change up. They go tempo here. Thorson straight ahead. Hands it to Justin Jackson, who's approaching 100 yards. Leading the tide today. Meanwhile, Northwestern's lead is down to seven. And on first and 10, Justin Jackson goes over 100 yards. Much more so than earlier in the game. Second and five for the Wildcats here. Handoff, Jackson left side, and he's into the Illinois secondary and into their territory. The gain, he's now seventh all time in Wildcats history running the football. Jackson on the zone play to the left side, just man for man blocking by the Illinois. Three times they've been in the red zone today. Thorson fakes it to Jackson. Now throws it to him right side. Makes a man miss and gets up near the 15 yard line. Second down and long deep in their own territory. And the handoff straight ahead Jackson and he gets past the 25 yard line. And only five remaining teams that could get to six wins. Illinois is one of them. Justin Jackson gets the first down past the 30 yard line somewhere between 30 to 35 days. So Justin Jackson can take all of these carries and he can take it for another first down past the 35 yard line. Certainly will be playing somewhere around New Year's Day. I know he told us earlier this week how badly he wants to get into a New Year's Six game as Jackson again. It's a no contest and Eminem or as Dickie V might say <laughs> with right. Washington making a statement against Stanford. Now Jackson. Bounces it to the outside. Gets a block from Nagel. Into Hawkeye territory. Knocked out of bounds. What a block on the perimeter by Flynn Nagel. Miss. And he's able to feel where that secondary edge. And Jackson's able to spring outside for a big play.
Now Thorson swings it out to Jackson. Coach Fitzgerald. Now bunch set to the left. Back to Jackson, the workhorse. Lowers the shoulder up the middle to get the first down right at the marker. Third and seven. Trips to the left, Nagel to the right. They're going to run it to Jackson, to the left. And he's short. Mark down at about the 23. And again, with this kicking game, you would have to imagine it's four down territory. It's Dickerson into that tight end H-back position to block. Jackson gets the first down. Jaleel Johnson with the tackle, but it's a two-yard gain. Now they give it to Jackson up the middle. Bounces off the hit from Snyder and gets right to the marker, and it's a first down. He threw that one away. Now they give it to Jackson. Squirts through for an extra yard, down to the 11. Four-yard gain, so set up third and medium. Maybe Coach Fitzgerald knows he missed one in the seam. Now Jackson changes direction and heads upfield. Thorson has had the touch here in the first half, but he gives it off to Jackson. Our workhorse gets it out near the 30. Now Jackson moves into the backfield. He'll run it to the left. He runs right into Miles Taylor. He's in the slot to the left now. But they keep it on the ground. And he gets outside. First down and then some. Knocked out by Jewell. Iowa bringing pressure up the middle. Thorson with time on the crossing route complete, short of the first down. Good tackle by Neiman on Jackson in the open field. So decision here for Coach Fitzgerald. The new fad and offense <laughs> run into each other, bounce off and the get open. The intent was there, but they just executed it a little bit. Now well. Jackson with the shake and bake in the open field. Wow. He runs away from Snyder. One man given chase. They're not going to get him. 58 yards. Justin Jackson with a burst. This is an offensive line that's been scrutinized in Chicago. Do they trust it here to run it with Jackson? No, they're going to throw to Jackson out in the flat. He makes the grab, and he gets the first down. Trips to the left. Jackson makes one man miss, gets to the 25. Jackson runs that way. Neiman trips him up. So a huge third down here for Jackson and Thorson in this Northwestern offense. We had that chess match late in the first half between the two longest tenured coaches in the Big Ten. Jackson runs it up the middle, and Coach Ferentz takes the first time out. What you've seen from previous quarterbacks to the rookie. On first down, quick toss to Jackson. Jackson breaks a tackle, and Justin Jackson, Jackson makes something out of what appeared to be nothing. 0 for 3 today on third. Jackson with the carry and the first down. Power by Justin Jackson to get to the 36 with Monte Nicholson on his back. First and 15. Jackson gets the edge against Bullock. What a high step, and he's driven down at the 35 yard line. Cox was there first. Nicholson finished him off. Keep an eye on Austin Card. He leads the Big Ten in third down yardage. He's in the slot up top, but instead it's Jackson who gets the carry. Oh, what a move! He showed him a leg, he took it away, and he took it for six. Quicker than fast. That's what it is. Right, they just picked up his jock strap. He took it back to the sideline. He stuck that left leg out there. Went, no, 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 you can't have that leg. Goodbye. <laughs> what a move. Second and one. Justin Jackson. He leads the first man and gets the first down. Diving in to try to make the play was Andrew Dallin. Third down and one. Justin Jackson. Oh, he leads one man and gets the first down. Boy, is he slippery. He is quick. He is a lot more calm in the pocket and more decisive. As Justin Jackson runs into Bullock, and Bullock wins that battle at the 38, but Jackson wins by getting the first down. Here's Jackson. In the open field, made a man miss. Jackson out of bounds at the 20 yard line. Monte Nicholson with the tackle. You know, we spoke to the coaching staff at Northwestern. One of the things they said is, look, we just have to get 
gives Justin Jackson some room. If you're thinking field goal, second and 18 at the 24, Justin Jackson weaving and diving ahead back near the original line of scrimmage at the 16-yard line, Monte Nicholson on the stop. He says give him numbers. That means he wants an extra guy down there for Justin Jackson. From the 25, first down, quick toss to Jackson on the edge. Trying to get him in space. That's usually a good decision as he's finished off by Riley Bullock at the 31-yard line. Jackson jumping over a blocker. Jackson gets the edge and gets out of bounds with a first down. It's the patience right before the leap. Nice leap. Yeah, right before that, he just slowed it down to let his blockers get in front of him and give him... From the 14 on first down, the option, the pitch to Jackson. And Jackson bouncing off Morrissey and gets out of bounds at the nine yard line. Said they want to watch this nice stiff arm right here. Right there, right in the, right in the top of the helmet. Really well done. Just gives a complete back. Second down and nine. Justin Jackson with his 23rd carry. And he gets to the 30 yard line. Second and 10 at the 41. Justin Jackson reversing his field, and Jackson to the 37-yard line. Thorson gives it to Jackson, and Justin Jackson gets the first down to the 21. On first down, Jackson again, and Justin Jackson to the 27. We go to Mike Hall in Chicago, a T-Mobile studio update. Dangerous game for the 10th-ranked Huskers. Thank you, Mike. Up by just two in Bloomington. Jackson turns the corner and gets the first down. They were able to capture the edge. A nice job by the tight end. Look here, we said this at the start, and I'll say it again. Whoever wins the line of scrimmage will win this game. Jackson on first down. Jackson to the corner again, and he gets nine to the 44. Second down and one. Here's Jackson again. Nice cutback. Jackson found a crease, and he's inside Michigan State territory to the 47 with a first down. I, I would jump that cover. I wouldn't give him the chance to get hands on him. On third and nine, it'll be Justin Jackson picking his way to the left, and Jackson bursting for the touchdown! Six yards for Jackson's second rushing touchdown of the day. Well done. Watch how he waits for things to develop in front of him. You see that little jump cut there? And that's just great instincts, great running ability. Jackson to the corner. And Jackson down at the 40 in the arms of Kari Willis. So four receiver package on third down and long. Here's Thorson rolling right, finds Jackson hit and drop, shy of the first down of the 15-yard line. Gain of five yards, but a strong defensive start for the Illini. Here's Jackson to get the corner, slips away once. Trey Watson from behind, wraps him up. And that should be a first down for the Wildcats. Trying to tackle him is a defensive back. You got problems. Now an option. Here's the toss. This is John Bowden with a touchdown today, and he's upended across the 35-yard uh, line. Ball by Stanley Green, the freshman safety from East St. Louis. Here's the here's option play the out of the shotgun, the and yard you can line. see they gave the look. You can tell by what Thorson, his head turned right away. Scores 143, so that's been an issue. Here is Justin Jackson. He will skip across the 45. Gain of four for Jackson. Weston runs it. That's been a popular way to go, and why not? Here's Justin Jackson. Spun down inside the 20-yard line. The Wildcats with so many big runs in this game, and now Jackson. Slot on the left side. At the top of your screen, they're going to run it with Jackson, trying the right side, dies for the pylon, and he's in for a touchdown. Well, Jackson just takes it to the outside and well, the first game next season is a carryover. Targeting ball. Jackson springs free. 
Jackson at the 30. Jackson at the 15. Towards the end zone. Dives for the pylon. Touchdown, Northwestern. In that run, he looked like he was going slow motion. He saw something open up and he was gone. Second down, Jackson, big hole off the right side. Jackson inside the 30. Jackson is going to tightrope the sideline, marked out inside the 15-yard line. On the run for Jackson. Well, you can see awful good blocking at the same time the line I get at it. Ball will land, and Trey Watson. So losing some key guys. Jackson inside the 10-yard line, tackled by Artie Jackson, Nickerson. The ball carrier. Graduate senior, transferred from Cal. And scholarships at the very least five years of eligibility and let the freshman play even in a limited role. Cameron Watkins is going to line up right next to Austin Carr. Here's Jackson trying the right side. He's in for the touchdown. Justin Jackson scores again. Off the interception, the Wildcats extend the lead. 41-21 in the fourth. Misdirection there. You saw two linemen pull to the left, but they gave the ball. Going to the right to Jackson. On third and seven. And it will be Jackson. Western China. Work some clock here, and Jackson's going to drive for the first down across the 36-yard line. Justin Jackson on the carrier. Didn't try to force it, was patient, waiting for his offensive line. Yeah, slow developing play, but they get hat on hat. You see the big lineman pulling around, and Justin Jackson, great vision. Creation in the backfield, try and reestablish that offensive line one yard behind the line. On second and seven, a screen right for Jackson, trying to sneak through a hole and pound it to the ground. Second and nine for Northwestern. Dorsey will get the chance. Big hole up the middle. Justin Jackson with daylight being pursued. Can he fend off? Inside the 30, Jackson finally run down by Felipe Motley. Nothing fancy in here, a little trap. Trapper didn't, the pulling guard didn't really have to hit anybody. The middle just absolutely opened up. That's the dame. A third and nine for Northwestern. Running the option with Jackson. Jackson has the first step. Thorson gives again to Jackson. Storms forward inside the 15 as we check in on the sideline with Paul. He is now a complete back. His change of direction, we're seeing a gentleman here today. He said it's just as quick side to side as straight ahead speed. This guy's a beast. This time pushing the pile with power. Thank you, Paul, and getting near the 10 yard line. First to goal, Jackson moving left with space. He's in. Justin Jackson for the score. Eight yard Jackson Gallup. At 5'11. Jackson. And off to Jackson now, well over 100 yards as he is shifting across the 30 and a first down for Northwestern. This time it's Jackson with room. Jackson to the five. Jackson kept his footing and is in. Oh, what an acrobatic touchdown from Justin Jackson. One oh five remaining in the half. Jackson dances his way across the 40. Northwestern, meanwhile, was one of the least penalized teams in the country this season. Here comes Jackson with space outside, a stiff arm and run out of bounds with another Northwestern first down. Facing a third and seven from the pit 40. Jackson to the left of Thorson, gets the handoff around of space, first down and more. What a cut, and Jackson is gone again. Forty yard 
yards for Justin Jackson, who's over 200 on the day. He's able to break through that first level. There's no one right there to tackle him, and then just a sensational move. He was the next guy up. Comes from a big Italian family. He's tough as nails, and his cousin said he's not surprised. He has ice in his veins. Thank you for that info, Paul. Is make that for the pit defense today as Thorson finds Jackson in the flat, trying to evade a few defenders and does. Thorson gives to Jackson one jump cut, veering right, pushing his way towards the first down marker, but is shy of it as he's knocked out of bounds by Reggie Mitchell. Up four, take over deep in pit territory, breaking free. It's Moten. He has speed and slides down inside the 15. Players here in Maryland embrace it the same. First carry of the game for Justin Jackson, and he picks up about four. Justin Jackson for Northwestern, 14 yards away from the school's rushing record. Here is Jackson, breaks a tackle. And a vintage Jackson run. He's going to be close to a first down. In a fashion that I think is their brand of football. Here comes Jackson, and he's got the record. You're looking at the new all-time leading rusher in the history of Northwestern football, the one they call the ball carrier. Back to Jackson. Finds a hole. Justin Jackson across midfield. Jackson now in the backfield. He gets the call. Jackson puts his head down and to the seven yard line, a gain of six. Green in motion, third and two. High snap. They give us to Jackson into the end zone. Wow. Eight plays, 71 yard drive for Northwestern and Jackson. Jackson on second down. Moves the chains, tackled by Jermaine Carter. Instead, to the air. Jackson gets past Brooks, taken down by Tino Ellis. This is Jackson again. The Francophile still churning, bulldozes all the way to the 31 of Maryland. A gain of 24 for Northwestern in rushing yards and now all purpose yards. That, that's why you don't go for it on fourth down because that bad man in all white has been carrying the pill like. We're going to go up 37 21 with a touchdown. Maryland would like to hold Northwestern to a field goal here. Justin Jackson gets the call and the ball carrier. Got about five, so fourth and two now for Northwestern. Here is Jackson. He'll let him close. And here is Chris Cotter. We're going to bounce back with a big win against Auburn. Jackson will cut it back against this tired defense. And he's a yard shy of the marker. Western record for rush yards in a career, all-purpose yards in a career, and he called his own highlights in two languages. And Jackson punctuates his tour de force performance with another touchdown. With a strong finish. This was a Wildcat team that many thought could contend in the Big Ten West for a division title. Wisconsin is in the driver's seat. On second and four, Justin Jackson's first carry. And Jackson's got a first down into Nebraska territory. Weber again on the stop of the 46. He's playing it perfectly. Justin Jackson again. And Jackson pulled down with a first down at the 33-yard line. Akin Maladun there with the tackle after the eight-yard gain. Jackson with the carry, backing his way for the first to the 21. Dedrick Young along for the ride. Tough. On second and six, Justin Jackson. Nice cut. Nice cut. Looking for a block from Thorson. He got it. And Jackson, touchdown. Sometimes you got to be the guy who hands it off.
Sometimes you got to be the guy who gets the block. Quarterback's a tough job. Justin Jackson got a block on the edge and a first down inside the 25 of Nebraska. Justin Jackson, very patient on that run, Matt, gets out to the 40-yard line to pick up a four. Jackson with a bit of a hole. Justin Jackson with a first down at midfield. Justin Jackson, a little bit of a hole, and Jackson caught by Marcus Newby at the 45. Thorson swings it to Jackson. Justin Jackson into Nebraska territory, but short of the first down by about six yards. Kyron Williams on the tackle, and it's fourth down for Northwestern. Fitzgerald's thinking adding seven more. The pitch to Jackson. A little slide to get forward to the 28-yard line. That's Dickerson in motion on first down. Jackson to carry. A crease for Jackson. And Jackson sticks the football out, looking for the yardage for the first down. He didn't get it. It's a nine-yard gain on the play as Kalu runs him out. Picks his yardage. Here's that pace again for Northwestern. Second down. Jackson now with a first down to the 39-yard line. Second down and 10. There is Jackson. Jackson almost had his helmet ripped off as he gets to the 49-yard line. Stoltenberg was there. There's no flag. Justin Jackson, and Jackson works his way to the 19-yard line. Dedrick Young on the stop. Good to have you with us as we start off this fourth quarter. The Wildcats with a second and three at their own 19-yard line. Justin Jackson to carry once more, and Jackson with a first down. Weber with a tackle at the 24, pick up a five. Don't fight underneath. Make him come to you. Throws it short to Jackson. And Jackson nowhere to go. Colin Miller, the first guy there. Carlos Davis came to finish him off. And the punt team coming on for Northwestern. Second down and 10 at the 31. Jackson trying to spin away from Alex Davis. And Davis just hung on. And here comes a late flag, Matt, at the end of the play. Jackson cuts it back. And Jackson's second effort gets the first down. Nebraska has all three of their timeouts. Might consider using them if it's three runs and stops. Here's Jackson. And Jackson down. And a timeout used by Nebraska. Jackson with some room to run. And Justin Jackson with a first down and out of bounds at the 32-yard line. has time, escapes the pocket, throws underneath, complete short of the first down to Jackson. It'll be fourth and three. Western's all-time winningest quarterback. With 26 career wins, and he hands off to the best back in Northwestern history, Justin Jackson, who has a chance to get into the top ten all-time in college football rushing today, right near midfield. Here's Jackson. Looking for space, and he is near the 45-yard line. Nice move, good patience, and you see 1,000 yards in four consecutive years. And he slips and falls just past the 43-yard line on a second and three, and what's the last play of the first quarter on a third and less than a yard? Here's the pitch to him. And he's 10th in college football history inside the 30-yard line. Then <laughs> goal for Alvedi from the five with Justin Jackson standing next to him. And here's Jackson straight ahead to the goal line. Powers in. Touchdown, Northwestern. I just don't think that he can run between the tackles at 5'11", 200 pounds. Straight shot on Justin Jackson, and you'll see here, this is just second effort. He's engaged by Courtney Love right about the line of scrimmage. And he actually goes forward. And you see there the approval of 
Pat Fitzgerald. That's crazy. One of the best running backs in the SEC is in the locker room. One of the best in the history of college football as the ball now. Justin Jackson still on his feet past the 30-yard line. Action comes in the, into play, and this backup quarterback and Matt Alviti will certainly need to ride the shoulder. Northwestern to the 14-yard line. This is Jackson on a third and six, and he has passed that and near the goal line. First and goal for the terrific tailback for the Northwestern Wildcats. Country have had a chance to see four consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, and you see why. 40 career rushing touchdowns, and now a first and goal. There's number 41. Goes airborne here. His job in the middle. They pull J.B. Butler around and really don't even need. Jackson shows that lateral ability. And he gets up to the 25-yard line. Right. Western does have all three of their timeouts here. Who told me that Benny grabbed him and uh, grabbed his arms. And I was told that that wasn't the case. I don't know. I can't worry about that. But if if, if, if we if we grabbed an official, then he should be ejected. Group at wide receiver this year after losing the Big Ten Rookie of the Year. Receiver of the Year, rather, Austin Carr last year. Jackson, look at that effort. Gets nine more. Four of eight for 50 yards and has run it for 29. This time it's Jackson over 100 already, and it's another first down run inside the 40. Off the block of number 71 as he pulls out, nice kick out block, sets the defense to the outside, cuts back in. 15 more for the man playing in his last football game today. And he gets a few. Northwestern is over 200 rushing yards now on the day. Let it go. Justin Jackson to the 23-yard line where Mike Edwards makes the tackle. Be a quarterback at the next level. <laughs> Unbelievable. Justin Jackson trapped for a moment in the backfield, but almost impossible to wrestle him down for a loss. He gets four more. Who has 133 yards rushing today. The option pitch to him. And Josh Allen takes him on. It's third down. Him the credit Ooh. for that huge hit that he made. You saw what was at stake there for both of these teams. Justin Jackson running in the final minutes of his incredible collegiate career. I mean the shiftiness right here. Pascal, you thought Pascal, you thought had him, and another defender for Kentucky, you thought had him bottled up. Carry number 30, at least the next time they give him the football. There it is. 13 yards on the last carry. And he's into the secondary again with seven more.